Welcome, this is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our weekly angel reading for July 14th to, through the 20th, 2014. And so let's just take a moment to center ourselves in the light of love that resides within you. And I just want to take a moment to bring an understanding to you that I think has been coming through and it, uh, very recently, yesterday actually. And this is to help you to understand the changes that are taking place. And so I'd like to use the image of the sun for you. And that to remind you that your inner divinity is like the sun itself. It is a light, the probably the most powerful source known in our physical universe. And that what is happening is, is that as we try to, well, let's put it this way, that sun, like the divinity within you, is now at a time where it is supposed to shine that no facades or illusions that would seek to contain that light. Now these are the things that the ego mind has created from since we were born, incarnated. Our divinity has been placed in sort of a container and we keep adding to that through our not understanding the potential and the fullness of all of that we are. And so what is happening is, is that that facade or that, the, I want to call, for lack of a better word, is now being eroded by the light. You know, it's kind of like that this, this light, the sun is not something that can be suppressed. So what's going to happen is, is that this facade has been like a coping mechanism. And it's been keeping you from fully recognizing who you truly are. But now the fullness of your divinity is burning through and it is causing everything to that is not true and not true to who you are to kind of go up in flame, so to speak. It's it's peeling or burning that away. And so the things that are going on in your life right now is this is what's kind of happening, that our inner truth is really becoming more and more powerful. And so there's a lot of shifts and changes that you're experiencing. And I just want to let you know that what you have to do right now is embrace these changes, no matter how messy it may seem for you. Embrace that this is the coming of the coming of age. Um, it's like come, it's like a, a coming of age where you your soul you're you're maturing into your your spiritual um, awareness, and where we're no longer going to be in that dark or blind uh, spots where we are just coping with the facades of our ego. So the thing is, is this is why we've been saying to you to really follow your what's right for you and to seek your truth and to really focus in a, almost in a very um, selfish way. Because in doing so, you're allowing your true power to come through and you will activate power in others. You don't have to sacrifice and yourself, your own desires and dreams in order to help others. You don't have to put others before you. You have to make your soul truth a priority, the goals of your soul. And right now, all of our souls are seeking to be its true self, to be authentic to no longer be um, suppressed under the facades that we've been coping with. So 
it's not, you know, like someone may say, well, it seems like um, like destructive behavior. It, it's not, you, you're light. The divinity in you has always been there, pure and strong. The behavior is, is not any reflection of your divinity. Your divinity you cannot alter. But the, this facade is what's deconstructing. And so we have to allow it to do that and trust that what is emerging from underneath all of this is something that's going to be radiant and brilliant and beautiful. But it's always been there. But you're going to start to have the full experience of who you are and see yourself the way that God sees you, unblemished and a perfection of divinity, which is a complete extension of him. So just wanted to put that out there. And let's just kind of take a moment to tune into that inner light now that is within you, this radiant sun. If you, whatever color comes to you, light, and see this picture, almost like a film that's running inside of you with this light is just there. And I want you to just feel it expand as if you glow from the inside out and radiate this light in all directions, allowing it to heal every aspect of your life and to clear away. It has like a cleansing effect and can dissolve immediately any barriers to your soul's light and truth. And then have the intention that you are allowing your life, you're allowing the ease into your life. You're going to allow this light, your inner divinity, to create ease in your life. And that you're not going to, you're just going to focus on the ease, focus on what feels good and right to you. As you just log into Source now. Setting that intention and just being at peace within this holy space, which is your true self, your higher self. And we just tune in to the energy for this week. We just, there's a sense of that more lessons are coming forth and they wrote the word floor so it's going to be like the energy is going to just kind of move at a very quick pace it's almost like you know that expression where you just floor it okay and seeing some things about father i'm saying so there may be some issues coming up related to your father and or father issues and they want you to trust okay this could also uh, and they want you to have faith and writing the word faith this could also deal with um the masculine energy as well i'm getting that in association with father so manifestation abilities and paying attention to this the your this um this energy so you may get a sense of things um, manifesting and coming through very quickly this week. Okay, so they're also saying that you need to, to really talk with your angels and talk with God and the angels about what you're feeling in your life right now. That they wrote the word lab, so this is meaning to me that this is some kind of um, an experiment, your life. And I don't mean that the universe is experimenting with you, but this is an experiment for you, for you to grow. This is an experiment you've chosen in your life, this life that you've chosen for you to grow. And they want you to know that it is safe for you to shine your light fully into the world and to have the desires and dreams that you are hoping for. So they're asking you 
to really go for opportunities in your life to take that leap of faith and that I get a sense that this week is going to be filled with opportunities as they're showing me the energy and they want you to know that they want you to have those opportunities and they want you to focus on the abundance that is available to you at all times. And if you focus on this, have an intention of having, seeing the abundance all around you, these opportunities will come with this and you will be able to recognize them. What they want you to know is that within the energy of source, the energy that is truly you, as you are an extension of source, that there are always opportunities available to you. And you must feel safe and you must look for them within yourself they're saying you must know that it's safe for you to have these opportunities so I just get a sense is that if you can get really make peace because some I get a sense that some of you don't believe that opportunities are there for you like you're different and you're wired differently and things go don't work out for you and this belief they, they keep writing the word safe, safe, safe. They want you to know that you're safe to hope. It's safe for you to dream. And that you are no different from the rest of the universe. This is not, this is unlimited for all of us. And all you need to do is just speak your desires in your heart. Say them and trust that you are like a part of the divine flow stream and that every everyone in that stream has and can have what they desire in life okay so let's take a look at the card for this week from the archangel okay and we had this card come up before and so really it just kind of said what i was talking about focusing on your highest priorities i will help you Get organized and motivated, so prioritize. And this is the Archangel Metatron. I'm just going to tune into this card just to see if I see anything additional, but I'm going to go on because I think I just really said everything that relates to this card. But let me just take a moment to tune in. And I just feel like I'm seeing, and I have the symbolic here, this image of being under some kind of outdoor shelter. And what it tells me is that you are perfectly safe. It tells me that they have you covered and, and protected. So that you've, and they wrote the word earn. So, and they're writing the word self and then safe here. So, You've earned this protection from, from the universe, the writing father here, and maybe in this sense, not that God is masculine, but per se, but the thing is, is that maybe this is a word that some people associate with God. So the thing is, is that you deserve, and we're talking about the blessings from the father God, the, the, you know, there's the mother, father God, but the manifestations aspect here is what they're referring to that you deserve them you and that you're safe and that they have that they are aware of everything that you've needed they've created a shelter for you and that things are going to flow what they need you to do is to really keep your connection strong they show me that you are very strongly and powerfully connected to the universe and to god and to the angels and your life you have a sense that your life is orchestrated by this by this powerful connection of love. And so they want you to believe in that. Trust it above anything that you can see, touch, uh, or taste with your physical senses. Believe in this. Don't allow the criticism from your mind to get in the way and to, to take you off of that path. All right, let's take a look at the cards for the beginning of the week. Okay, and we have the page of air. And so this card, when I see it, this tells me, because it's a page, that there is some, at the beginning of the week, you're going to get some really clear messages. 
all right? Clear, strong, and direct messages here. And you're gonna feel as though, again, like I said before, that the week is gonna take off very um, fast and strong. So the thing is, is that you may get these sudden impulses, sudden clarity, sudden insights that are gonna come to you. And what you need to do is follow this information. Don't give time for doubt to settle in. Go with that burst of information and just act on it. And you will see the next step will be lined up for you as you follow that information. So what we need you to do is to be courageous. And notice here, and if you can get this to really focus, notice that she's holding in this card. I love this card because very feminine here. But there's a balance of the masculine energy and her paws. She has bare uh, paws and she's holding with her bare uh, claws or paws this golden heart shape. And I don't know if you can see this very clearly, um, but she is holding a golden heart. And so you would think that her claws or her would, would actually puncture this heart. But this is demonstrating that masculine um, power here, um, energy, the manifestation, that if you just have faith and courage to follow your heart, follow, and the card says, Curi curious. So let yourself be curious. Any curious impulses that you, you get this week, just follow them. Be courageous. Okay, let me just tune in to this card and see if there are any additional messages here. So they're showing me a symbol of a lamp. So what this is telling me is that, at, again, it's just reaffirming that at the beginning of the week, there is like the light's going to turn on, okay? And it's going to be a very strong light. And that the universe is guiding you and to just follow this, okay? All right. And this may challenge... Um, some of the outdated, because I'm seeing an outdated um, vehicle, which I told you represents energy for me. It tells me the kind of energy you're running. So that this in insight is going to come, but it's going to be a bit of a challenge to your outdated beliefs. And so we're just asking you to trust above everything. Put your faith and trust in the information and let don't let your ego or your outdated beliefs get interfere with this process. All right, let's take a look at the next card for the middle of the week. All right, and I said something about lessons um, earlier. I don't know where that I, I said that, but um, at the beginning of this reading. And so here we have in the middle of the week, the eight of earth, okay? So just connecting these two cards, this information that's going to come through is going to be an education. It's going to be educational for you. Anyway, it's going to help you to feel that as though that you're starting to understand your your own uh, the truth and your own your intuition, your soul's purpose. So you're going to get stronger guidance and stronger information that is going to really um, shift your understanding about your world. And since this is the card, the eight of earth, and so everything that has to do with the physical realm about finances, it, it could be about um, your family, it could be about your health, whatever this information is gonna come through is gonna shift things for you in the physical world. Those areas where you have had some um, doubts or you've been uh, not you've not felt like you've had all the pieces that you needed for your understanding all right let me just take a look and tune into this card and see what additional information i'm getting so they're showing me a chair which means that usually that you know you're going to need in the middle of the week to sit down and um take some time to yourself relax okay and just and pay attention 
So they're show, kind of showing me someone who's kind of reclining, okay, and, and taking it easy, and that's what the word they're writing, okay? They, they're telling me they want you to take it easy. They, they're showing me the number 72, and they want you to know that you're on the right path, and you just have to have faith that, that your finances, about your finances or is ideas and things that you need, um, that these things are coming in your life, and that you're getting ready for something really new and exciting. And so the information that you're getting is really key to all of this. And, and trusting yourself. I know I keep saying this like a broken record, but you by putting into practice fo following what feels right for you and recognizing what does not feel right to you, you strengthen your divine guidance. This is a choice that you should be making all day long. And whether you recognize that you're making choices or not all day long with every interaction that you have, that, that if you focus on this in a more conscious way, you can actually foster, okay, and nurture a new inner strength and confidence in yourself and your abilities. So this is very important here. Okay, let's take a, a look at the, so I think some blocks are just going to get cleared and removed in the middle of the week for you. Let's take a look at the card for the end of the week and look at this, the dreamer card. So, and just getting a sense that from looking at this card, he's, he's looking back that this is all about this week is going to be all about your dreams, okay? And that you are reflecting and that you're growing, you're, that, that your goals are still here, are being, uh, let's, how do you want to say, being realized. And so this week is really about this, you know, these lessons that are helping you to move forward and to accomplish your goals. So if you're not seeing everything happen right now, it's because the universe is adjusting to the for, to what you've been asking for unknowingly. You as you live and you keep experiencing life, your your desires grow. And so the universe grows with them and expands your desires with with what those changes that are occurring within you. And so those moments when you don't see something happen and you feel like you're waiting, it's because the universe is recalibrating and re refining your desires and the fruition of them coming true. Let me just tune in to, and it's interesting and drawn right to the word unexpected opportunities. So be, in the, in the, for the weekend, as you work with the information, you focus on your soul's priorities and you get these insights that just come in rushing in through the, at the beginning of the week. And as you learn and take your, and relax and just take it in and trust that things are coming together and you pull all this together, that what's going to happen is that some unexpected opportunities are going to come through. And we talked about that at the beginning as well. Let me just tune in to this card and see if there's any additional information. So, okay, they're showing me my symbol, which means, you know, when someone, something about vulnerability. So what I'm getting is, in this sense, is that these opportunities, because they're unexpected, you may feel like you're not ready. And so they may actually make you feel a bit uncertain about yourself. Like you, I'm getting a sense that some inf like you know, some old stuff about, you know, feeling inadequate and unprepared and, you know, is going to come up for you when this opportunity, when you're faced with this opportunity. And what you need to do is recognize that that is a limiting belief that this has nothing to do with how the divine sees you. And so what you really need to do is 
check in. So really like we did in the beginning of this meditation, I would encourage you to do something like this every morning before you begin your day because you need to check in with where source is on what your requests are because usually they're way ahead of you because we're so distracted by our fears and by the mundane aspects of what all of our you know focus goes into the physical world and we just don't keep up with what's going on in spirit time which is far more advanced and broader in its perspective and so it's always adjusting for what's best for you and sometimes we just get caught up in doing what's better and it may not always be what's best and sometimes better is good all but because but the thing is you don't want to just be coping with things you you really want to be trying to feel your best and you want to choose make choices that are best for you but better is good if that's all you can allow in that moment but when you check in with source and to log in you become aware even if you don't get it you when you when you log in a download happens and at some point all of a sudden you're going to have an aha moment and that's because the download has been finished processing and the information is now available to you so think of you know the unit this is a technology our universe is really much like our technology and so you just have to be always logging in and getting the updates and checking in with your soul for any upgrades or updates to the information that pertains to your life experience the grid that represents your life ex experience. All right, let's take a look at the card from the bottom of the deck I already pull. And we have the Knight of Earth. So what I'm getting is that this is a week where again, and we've had this card come up before, not recently, where you need to be very diligent and you need to pay attention, slow down and pay attention to the to the details and that are coming up for you and for the, the details of information that you will be working with. So this is like going to be someone who is really um, going to be taking those steps, you know, really settling down, taking all those and, and taking the steps and just moving with them and not allowing yourself to get distracted by a collage of information coming at you. Just focus on what's in front of you one step at a time. And this is a lesson I think that we can learn from the night of Earth, is to just focus on one thing at a time until you get it done. Okay? All right. So I'm feeling that this is really the message for this week. And so I send you lots of love and angel blessings. And if you are looking for an angel reading, please feel free to contact me and my website, which you can find in the description link below, theangelschool.com. And join us on Facebook for the daily messages as well, where you can um, find more information in detail about what's going on in the week from Monday through Friday. And so, again, send you lots of love, and I send you blessings that 